Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you an elegant card using embossing and coloring with Spectrum Noir markers. Let me show you the tools and products you need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some ink, and I am using the Versamark ink, which is my favorite ink right now for working with embossing powder. Then for embossing powder, I'm very pleased to introduce you to our newest product line. This is our Gina K Designs embossing powder, and this is the Fine Detail Gold. This embossing powder also comes in other colors like red hot, dark chocolate, silver, clear, white, and black. Now the white is still on its way into our warehouse, but these other powders are available. And when you see how our fine detail powder embosses, you won't believe it. Detail powder sometimes gives little ripples or it looks a little bit distressed. This is so smooth and shiny. It's my absolute favorite new tool. Then with the embossing powder, I'm going to use my embossing magic to remove any static or any oil that's on the surface of the card. For cardstock, I'm using some of the Gina K Designs white, some of our grass green, black onyx, and then our heavy base weight white for the card base. And I wanted to show you this design comes from this Lifestyle Crafts embossing folder, and this is from the Whimsy set. So I pre-embossed that for you because you don't really have to see me run it through the cuddle bug. I know you've seen me do that a million times, but that is the pattern that's left behind. And these, these particular embossing folders are so deep and give such a gorgeous impression. So those are the card stocks. Then, for stamps, I'm using two of the stamps from the Here Comes the Sun Stamp TV kit. This is the Flower Builder stamp set. It's this large flower and then the greeting that says, Oh, happy day. I'm also going to be using some adhesive, my heat embossing tool. I use the Marvi heat tool. And then for Spectrum Noir markers, I'm going to use BT4 and BT5. Now I have my blender pen here, but that's just for mistakes if I go outside the lines. You can clean that up using the blender pen. So really the only two markers I'm using is uh, BT4 and BT5. And you can find similar Copic colors, just pick a light turquoise and then a brighter turquoise and you'll be just fine. So to start, I'm going to grab this piece of cardstock and I'm going to run the embossing magic pad over it to remove any of the oils from the surface of the piece of cardstock and also the static. Next, I'm going to get that big flower stamp and I'm going to ink that up using some of the Versamark ink. And I like to lay these bigger stamps on their back and use the ink pad this way because then I'm sure I'm getting it all inked up properly. And I'm going to stamp this one right in the center of this piece of cardstock. Make sure all the ink transfers. And then I'm going to grab an extra piece of paper here and pour some of our embossing powder over the surface of this flower. And you can see there is my flower full of embossing powder. Now I'm going to just get rid of the powder. Next I'm going to emboss this image using the heat tool. And you'll see how beautiful and shiny and smooth this comes up. You get the same smoothness as a non-detail powder, but it picks up all the detail, which is just fabulous. And you can see how nice that is, all that nice shine in there. Next, I'm going to stamp the greeting onto a smaller piece of white cardstock, again using the embossing magic. And I'm going to use the Versamark ink again. This is a smaller stamp, so I can ink right on there. And I will put that into the center there. Excuse my head if it got in the way. And then once again, I'm going to sprinkle some of our 
fine detail gold powder right on top of those words. There we go. And I'm really impressed with how nicely words come out with this embossing powder too. They're just crisp and clean. So let me emboss that. Flip it around. You can use a clothespin to hold on to this. I've also used a um, pair of tweezers, but just be careful because that is metal and the whole thing can get hot. So there is the Oh Happy Day, and you can see how pretty that looks, all embossed in our new gold powder. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of that embossing powder, and I'm going to show you how to color this flower, and then I'm going to show you my finished strip, because I'm not going to color all the flowers. I stamped about five flowers on my finished one, but I'm going to show you just on this one how I color. Okay, so I'm going to start with the BT4. And I'm going to color the full petal using this BT4. And what's really nice is, even if you get a little bit on the gold, it doesn't really change the color of the gold. Where sometimes if you're working with white embossing powder, it may pick up the color of your alcohol marker. The gold will not. Also, our red and black and dark chocolate, none of those will pick up the color. So if you go a little bit outside of those lines, you're okay. All right. Okay, so now I have a few done. Now I'm going to switch over to the BT5. And this one I'm going to color just along the base of each of those petals. And you can do this. This is so easy to do. You will have no problem achieving this look. But it's so pretty. And again, I always tell you guys, I am not an alcohol marker expert. But Spectrum Noir markers make it pretty easy. You don't have to be. Now I'm going to go back to the BT4. And I'm going to start coloring over that darker color and work my way up. And you can see that's all just starting to blend together now. Beautiful turquoise hues against that gold powder really stand out. Little areas at a time and if you're not blended enough, once you've saturated it with that that lighter color again, you can go back over it and it will move nicely. Now you can clean off your marker just by getting a little scrap piece of paper and then you can blend your lighter color back in. And then another thing that you can do is you can take the colorless blender pen and you can run that kind of around the top if you want to pull some color off and make it even lighter. The colorless blender pen for Spectrum Noir works just like the one for Copics. It will lighten up color. So you can see how that's starting to look. Now I'm going to go back and do a couple more petals. And I like to do a little bit at a time because Spectrum Noir re uh, recommends that you work in small areas at a time. This way the ink stays wet and it's much easier to blend than to color the entire thing in and then go back and try to blend. You can still do it, but it just makes it easier to do little bits as you go along. And I kind of like doing that because I get to see this project unfold in front of my eyes here. You 
can see I'm just adding that darker color right along the bottom. Just a little bit in there. And now once again going back with the lighter color, the BT4, I'm going to work that color up into the lighter color. You can see here with about half of the flower done how that starts to create lots of depth and makes a very interesting looking flower. Now let me show you the piece that I finished where I did all of the flowers. Here is that piece and you can see that gold embossing powder really shines in there. Isn't that pretty? So that is the piece that I'm going to use for my finished card project. So my next step is going to be to adhere these two pieces together. This is the grass green that is embossed using the uh, Whimsy embossing folder by Lifestyle Crafts. I'm going to tape that onto this piece of black onyx cardstock. And then this whole panel is going to go on to my 120 pound white card base. And once I saw my finished card, I really wanted to add more embellishments, but I really felt like it didn't need it. And you'll see what I mean. It's just a really simple design that looks so nice. So now this piece is going to go just off to the one side like that. And I will use just regular adhesive for that as well. And I definitely want it to the left. There we go. And now my final piece is going to be this Oh Happy Day greeting. I just mounted that onto a little piece of black cardstock. And I will add a little adhesive to that and pop that on right in the center like that. So there is my finished card project. Try this technique with other combinations of our embossing powder and markers, such as red hot embossing powder and pinks and orange markers, or our new silver embossing powder with vibrant shades of red.